please check your pensions. Ever since I started writing for the Financial Times uh, 23 years ago, I've been warning about this one problem with people's pensions and it's become very clear from an email that I received just very recently. And it goes on to say, good morning, Alpesh. Very interesting uh, what you're doing. This is the bit which caught my attention. Okay. Recently, I have been able to check my own pension provided by Legal and General. This was provided by my employer. The information was shocking 20% growth between 2012 and 2022. As you can imagine, I have now taken steps to remove this and control the funds myself. Currently, I can get 5% interest at least. Now, what's shocking about this is the 20% growth over that time frame and it's legal and legal in general and it's employer provided you think the employer would give more of a damn wouldn't you i tell you why it's all shocking and very worrying the reason is this over the last 10 years the nasdaq's up 382 percent and you might not have met that market target and this is open to all uk pensioners by the way the S&P 500 is up 166 percent the dow's up 134 the uk markets are up even they're up more than what this individual got. So I did some simple maths, and this is the maths. Based on the growth percentages provided, okay, the NASDAQ would have seen this individual's £100,000 become £482,000. Big difference in your pension pot if it went from 100 to 482. If he just tracked the S&P, I'm not talking about outperforming the market or picking stocks, Hopefully, you could have cherry-picked those and done even better, but let's just assume not. 100,000 would at least have 266,000 in his pension pot by now. Satisfactory. If you just even track the UK market broadly, it should be 124,000. Okay, that's only 24,000 pounds up on his 100,000 originally. He didn't even get that. I mean, it is embarrassing how shockingly bad the UK pension system is. People don't check their pensions, they don't ask their employers, and this is one key reason why really you should, and urgently, as a matter of some emergency. And if you want to know who I am, well, I've been banging on about this on BBC, I've written about it in my books, this very same problem, of why pension fund managers underperform, and you can follow me on LinkedIn and elsewhere. Have a look at those links if you'd like some free resources as well on how to do things better yourself. Nobody cares about your money as much as you do. Stop giving it to fund managers. Learn how to do it yourself and how to at least ask the right questions. Thank you.